Hello darlings, for today's video I'll be creating three looks with one palette using the City Color Beauty Novel Spring Edition palette. Let's get started on the first look. To start, I'm priming my eyelids with the P. Louise base in the shade 0.5. Once I've tapped the base on so that it's nice and smooth, I'm starting to apply the darkest shades first. I'm picking up the grayish blue shade called Cloud and applying it to my outer V while also taking it up above my crease so that it's clearly visible. By using small circular motions, it basically blends itself. Next, I'm dragging it on to the outer part of my lower lash line. After that, I'm switching to the Morphe JH40 brush and applying the purple shade called Wisteria. I'm placing this in my crease next to the blue so that it's in the center of the eyelid. I'm tapping my brush to pack the product on and using circular motions to blend it. For the inner third of the eye, I'm applying the maroon shade called Ladybug and lightly sweeping it on top of the edge of the purple so that they blend seamlessly together. To blend all of the shadows even more, I'm taking a clean fluffy blending brush and lightly sweeping it along the outer edge of all of the shadow. Next, I'm applying the purple shade to the center of the lower lash line, and then I'm applying the maroon shade to the inner part that's left over. Now that everything is blended, I'm cutting the crease into a half cut crease. I'm starting at the inner corner of the eye, and following the natural shape of the crease, I'm dragging the product up through the crease in sort of a circular shape and stopping once I've covered three-fourths of the length of my eye. Now I'm adding more of the grayish blue shade to the outer V to rid that area of any harsh lines. Then I'm filling in the space we cut out and adding lighter shades to match the ones in the crease. First, I'm adding the light blue shade called Minty Fresh next to the blue in the outer V. Then for the center, I'm using a light purple called Bunny, and for the inner part, I'm using a light pink shade called Pink Rose. Now for the inner corner and brow bone, I'm applying the iridescent pink shade called Lilac. Next, I'm curling my lashes, applying the City Color Be Batty Mascara, and popping on the Viso Free Lashes in the style D20. To blend the false lashes with my real ones, I'm tightlining with the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. For my waterline, I'm adding the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners in the shades Prance, Piggy Bank, and Insomniac to match the gradient of blue, purple, and pink that we've done for this look. Finally, I'm applying mascara to my lower lashes, and that completes this look. For the second look, I'm starting off by once again applying the P. Louise base to my eyelids using the Morphe JH36 brush. I use shade 0.5 because it's lighter than my skin tone and makes the colors pop. Once that is smooth, I can start applying eyeshadow. The first shade I'm picking up is the teal called Leaf and I'm applying this all over my lid so that it stops in my crease. I'm also applying this to my lower lash line.
Once I have a very opaque color payoff, I'm applying the purple shade called Tulip to my crease so that it goes from the outer corner of my eye to the inner corner and surrounds all of the teal shade. I'm blending this with the teal shade by slightly overlapping the teal, and then I'm also applying this to my lower lash line. I'm not too worried about how messy it looks because everything will come together once I apply the final shade. Next, I'm brightening up the purple by adding the neon pink shade called Dragon Fruit right on top of it. Now for the final piece of the puzzle, I'm adding the orange shade called Sprout on You and using this to blend out the purple shade by applying it around all of the purple including the lower lash line. Everything blends so easily when using the Morphe M562 brush, that's why I like to use it when applying the final shade. Next, I'm blending everything even more by sweeping a clean, fluffy blending brush around the outer edge of all of the shadow. For the inner corner, I'm popping on the golden shimmer shade called Sunflower, and then I'm moving on to lashes. I'm first curling my lashes with the Kevin Aquan Lash Curler, then I'm applying the City Color Mascara, and popping on the Viso Free Lashes in the style D20, which are available on AliExpress. Finally, I'm tightlining with the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen and adding mascara to my lower lashes, and that completes this look. For the third and final look, I'm first priming my eyelids with the P. Louise Base. Next, I'm mixing the two purple shades called Tulip and Wisteria and applying them to my crease. Since I want to fully cut my crease out this time, I'm using this to map out the shape of where I want to cut the crease. Rather than packing it on, I'm lightly applying it for a softer look. Then, I'm blending that out with the orange shade called Sprout on You by applying it along the upper edge of the purple. To seamlessly blend that into the base near my brow bone, I'm gently sweeping a clean fluffy blending brush along the top edge of the orange. Now it's time to cut the crease. I'm starting off by applying the product at the inner corner of the eye and dragging it up into the crease, following the natural shape of the crease so that it's higher in the center of the lid, and drops down into a swoop near the outer corner, flowing back upwards towards the tail of the brow at the end. To achieve a clean swoop near the end, I find that dragging the base out from the outer corner of the eye as if I was applying winged liner and bringing it back in towards the crease really helps. Once I have a nice clean cut, I'm applying the light shimmery blue shade called Sky to the blank space we cut out avoiding the outer part of the lash line. Using the Morphe M508 brush, I'm creating a smoky liner effect with the two purple shades, Tulip and Wisteria, by applying them to the lash line and dragging them out into a wing so that they meet at the end of the cut crease at a point. Next, I'm cleaning up the wing by applying some concealer against the edge of it using the Morphe JH43 brush. For my lower lash line, I'm applying the same three shades that I used in the crease, and I'm also taking a little bit of the orange up next to the wing as well. For my inner corner highlight, I'm using the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter, and then I'm lining the cut in the crease with some Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Glitter Topper in the shade Hollow Glow. Old. 
For lashes, I'm curling my natural lashes, applying the City Color Mascara, and popping on the same Viso Free Lashes in the style D20. To tightline, I'm using the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen, and to make my eyes appear larger, I'm adding the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk to my waterline. Finally, I'm adding mascara to my bottom lashes using the Be Batty Lower Lash Mascara by City Color. And that completes the three looks using the City Color Spring Edition palette. Let me know which out of the three looks was your favorite in the comments below, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!